Hey everyone, welcome back to NetConnect. In today's video, I'll guide you through how to fix the critical process died blue screen error on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you're seeing a message on your screen like, your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info and then we'll restart for you. Don't worry, this error is fixable and I'll walk you through the process step by step. There are two possible situations and I'll explain how to fix the issue in both cases. Scenario one, you can still access the desktop if your computer boots up and you can see the desktop and use your system. Click on the start menu. Go to settings. Select update and security. Click on recovery in the left hand menu. Under advanced startup, click restart now. When your PC restarts, click Restart Now again if prompted. Your computer will now enter the Advanced Startup Options screen, which is where we need to be for troubleshooting. Scenario 2. You can't access the desktop at all if you're stuck in a boot loop or cannot access the desktop at all. Press and hold the power button until your PC completely shuts down. Press the power button again to restart. As soon as you see the Windows logo, press and hold the power button again to force shutdown. Repeat this process three times force shutdown during the boot logo. On the fourth boot, Windows will detect a problem and automatically load the Advanced Startup Options screen. What to do in Advanced Startup Options? Once you're in the Advanced Startup screen, click on Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options. Click on Startup Repair and let it run. If Startup Repair solves the issue, great. You're done. If it doesn't fix the error, go back to advanced options and follow the next steps. Fixing the error using command prompt. If startup repair fails, click on command prompt in the advanced options. A black command window will open. Now enter the following commands one at a time. Boot configuration commands. Bootrek slash fix ember. Bootrek slash fix boot. If you receive an access is denied message for slash fix boot, don't worry, move on to the next command. Boot set NT60 SVs. Bootrek slash fix boot. Bootrek slash rebuild. SFC slash scano. CHKDSKC. Final steps. Click on continue to restart your computer. What happens next? If the issue was caused by a corrupted system file or drive problem, this process should fix it. Your PC should now restart normally and you should see the Windows login screen, no more blue screen. Final notes, if this fix worked for you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more tech help, and if you still have any issues or questions, feel free to leave a comment below, I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.